Hey everybody, hi again. Now you'll probably notice that I'm wearing the outfit I wore in my last video, and that's because I'm shooting them back to back because I s still feel sick and I'm not sure how good I'm going to be tomorrow, so I figured just get it out of the way now. So there's a video I've been really wanting to make ever since I decided I wanted to create a YouTube channel, and I kind of planned this video out like a year ago when I was dead set on making it, and then I got scared and I didn't post anything. Yep. So... This video is going to be how to talk or public speaking. So everyone has to do public speaking at some point in their life, whether it's in school, business meeting, even just introducing yourself to a couple people at a club. So I thought I'd give you some tips from a somewhat expert. <laughs> so I used to be terrified of public speaking, and then I joined this competition called forensics. Now forensics isn't like cutting people up or that stuff. That's not the type of forensics I do. What I do is a public speaking competition, and we compete every Saturday, and we're crazy because we get to school at 6.30 a.m. and we start competing. But it's really fun, and I've ranked pretty well, so I thought I'd give you some tips. Now, first things first. Whenever you're talking to a large group of people, just smile. You have a really pretty smile, and other people want to see it, and it makes you more interesting. Because it, it adds more emotion to your face, so you're not just talking monotone like this to them and putting them to sleep. You see? It's all different when I smile, because it kind of forces you to change your voice. And then, second, what was my second? Second is the fact that... Anyone else always get, like, confused with this stuff? Because it just feels weird. Second is you want to... Second, based off my first one, is you definitely don't want to be monotone. Change your voice as you talk like you would in a normal conversation. It's pretty much how you do it. Third is kind of connected to the second. I think it's all interlaced. But you just want to make sure you're very conversational. You want to be more relaxed, not so stiff in posture, because you want to really connect with the people you're talking to, even if it's only a group of three people. I was going to say four, and then I decided three, so that's why the fingers went here. Then next is the gestures. So I can't really tell you how important the gestures really are because I'm gonna tell you a little story. Story time! So there was a story of a little boy who did forensics. He was in the final round which is awesome because you have to do well in three rounds and then you break into the final round. But he gestured very interestingly. And two girls from my school were in the audience, and they started laughing. Of course, they got in trouble because our coach is kind of tough, but you really don't want to do what this boy was doing. When he was gesturing, he was gesturing below his waist, which is what a lot of people actually do because they're nervous and they don't want to go full out because they feel like their hands look funny all of a sudden. But when he was gesturing, he was, like, making this motion, but it was below his waist, and it looks like he was masturbating so I think that's one of the stories that just tells you how important it is to gesture above the waist and go full out with your gestures even if you think it's gonna look ridiculous just go for it because it's gonna look weirder if you just stop halfway and I'm like oh no no you know this hand wants to be down here instead of doing this just just go for it and finally I think just have fun it's public speaking it's nerve-wracking for everybody. You always get a little bit nervous, but after a while, you get some practice. You're a lot more comfortable, and you can just have fun with it, especially when you know you're never going to see people again. Like in the forensics tournaments, I know I'm never going to see them again unless I'm competing against them again. So I kind of go full out and make jokes about hula girls and finding in your, your sassiness, and it's just really fun. So just be comfortable and go for it, and whatever public speaking you have to do soon, crush it. And I think that's my advice for today. So please let me know what you think. Subscribe. Is it this way or this way? I think for you guys it's this way. So for me, subscribe at this button right here. Click that subscribe. You know you wanna. Please click subscribe, comment, like this video. It means the world to me. And then for what I'm introducing to you guys today is a TV show. So this show is kind of my childhood in a nutshell, and I thought I would share it with you guys because it's on Hulu and you guys can just watch it. It's called Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen it before,
but definitely check it out. And if you've watched it before, tell me in the comment section. I love that show so much. So please check it out. And that's a wrap.